Dexter, Kansas seems an unlikely place to find sweets, but the small town's claim to fame is candy. Not just any candy, but Henry candy. For more than three decades, the Henry factory has been producing all kinds of treats in Kansas. You've got to just have it, you know, inside you and want to do it. And that's all I've ever known, so I'm proud of what we do. Evelyn Puddin's grandfather, Tom, invented the O. Henry candy bar. He started working for a candy maker in Boston, Massachusetts when he was just a child. And that's where he actually learned how to do the design candies at a young age. He was a great candy maker. The art of candy making hasn't been lost over time. Evelyn's two daughters helped to carry on the Henry tradition on simple things like flavoring suckers. Trying to get it mixed in good enough to where I can take off a piece for the color. Well, hopefully it'll be lemon lollipops with a star in the middle. Each Sunday during the holiday season, people from all around flock here to watch the Henry family make candy. And it is a true family effort. In addition to the daughters, Evelyn's 77-year-old uncle even helps out by stamping prices on candy wrappers. But see, whenever you're around stuff like that, I think it just gets in your blood. It does. The tradition pays off, with many customers coming back again and again. We'll bring our kids back and maybe it, uh, make it an annual event kind of deal. It may start out as a lump of sugar and some corn syrup, but as it moves down the assembly line, it passes from one generation of Henry's to another. Before, like magic, it becomes holiday candy. All kinds of candy, from lollipops to sugar-filled flower pots, each made by hand. The equipment is antique. Everything still follows the same form Tom Henry used in the beginning. All this new stuff out there, it's kind of nice to see something done the old-fashioned way. As Dad always said, if you put out a good product and they buy it, they'll come back. In Dexter, Todd Johnson, Cake News Nightside.